alien hand. How scary is it to have part of your body act on its own accord and having a wayward limb? This is exactly what the alien hand syndrome is. Alien hand syndrome, AHS, also known as Dr. Strange Love syndrome, refers to a set of conditions where a person's limbs appear to act independently without the individual's conscious control. Do you know that alien hand syndrome can be traced back to ancient times? Although it wasn't formally recognized until the 20th century, historical texts suggest that people have been experiencing these mysterious symptoms for ages. The syndrome gained particular attention in the 1900s, when advancements in neuroscience began to shed light on its perplexing nature. Statistically, alien hand syndrome is quite rare. It sometimes occurs after brain surgery, stroke, or infections that affect the brain, especially in the corpus callosum, which connects the two hemispheres of the brain. In terms of research, there have been enough progress in understanding why alien hand syndrome occurs. Scientists have pointed out disruptions in communication between different parts of the brain as an important factor. There's also ongoing research exploring treatment options and management methods. While there's no cure for alien hand syndrome, therapy and certain medications can help manage the symptoms. When you hear about alien hand syndrome, remember, it's not just a quirky neurological disorder. It's a window into the deep workings of our brains. Exploding Head Exploding Head Syndrome, EHS, is a curious and little-known sleep phenomenon that can be quite startling. Imagine drifting off to sleep or waking up when suddenly you hear a loud explosive noise that seems to come from inside your head. This may sound like the plot of a sci-fi movie, but for some people, this is a real experience. Exploding Head Syndrome, EHS, is a sleep-related condition where people hear loud, brief noises when they are falling asleep or waking up. The sounds can be scary, but aren't harmful. Sometimes, people also see a flash of light. There's usually no pain involved, and it doesn't happen very often. Scientists have used techniques like EEGs to study brain activity in people with EHS, hoping to know what exactly goes wrong. Despite the nature of EHS, it's comforting to know that it's not associated with any serious health issues. There's no pain involved, and episodes are usually short-lived. The flash of light experience alongside the noise is not harmful either. If you ever experience exploding head syndrome, it's helpful to know that you're not alone and that it's not dangerous. Walking Corpse Walking Corpse Syndrome, also known as Cotard Syndrome, is a truly intriguing and rare mental health condition that has puzzled scientists and doctors alike. Imagine believing you're dead, non-existent, or that your internal organs are rotting away. This is the reality for some individuals who experience Cotard Syndrome. First identified in the late 19th century by French neurologist Jules Cotard, this syndrome is characterized by delusions of immortality, a sense of complete detachment from reality, and a belief that one's body is decomposing. It's as if the mind's locked in a zombie state, where reality and fantasy mix in the most unsettling manner. The statistics on Cotard syndrome are rather elusive due to its rarity, but it is estimated to affect a small fraction of the population. Some reports suggest that less than 1% of people with severe psychiatric disorders might experience this syndrome, although precise numbers are hard to pin down. The condition is often linked to other mental health issues, such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and severe depression. In terms of research progress, scientists are making strides in understanding Cotard syndrome. Advances in brain imaging techniques such as MRI and PET scans have helped researchers investigate the neural mechanisms behind the condition. These studies have suggested that disruptions in the brain's ability to process self-relevant information might play a role in the development of Cotard syndrome. For example, abnormalities in the brain regions responsible for self-awareness and emotional processing could contribute to the delusions experienced by those with the syndrome. Treatment for Cotard syndrome often involves a combination of psychiatric and medical interventions. Antidepressants, antipsychotic medications, and psychotherapy can help manage symptoms. But treatment plans are highly individualized based on the patient's overall condition and underlying causes. Genital Arousal Persistent Genital Arousal Disorder, PGAD, is a rare and distressing condition where individuals experience continuous and unwanted genital arousal. Consider a world where you feel constant sexual excitement that doesn't lead to orgasm and causes significant discomfort. That's what people with PGAD endure. First described in the early 2000s, 
PGAD affects a small number of people with exact statistics being hard to pin down. It's most commonly reported in women, but men can also experience it. The condition can significantly impact daily life and mental health, leading to feelings of frustration and distress. Recent research into PGAD is still developing, but some studies suggest that it may be linked to nerve or pelvic issues, hormonal imbalances, or psychological factors. Treatments often focus on addressing underlying causes and may include medications, physical therapy, or psychological counseling. Despite its rarity and complexity, ongoing research aims to better understand PGAD and find more effective treatments. As knowledge of the condition grows, there's hope for improved management and relief for those affected. While it is a bit far-fetched and maybe not even so threatening, the condition is so frustrating and it has a huge effect on those affected by it. Proteus Proteus syndrome is a genetic disorder characterized by abnormal growth of tissues and organs evolving all three embryonic lineages. We all want for our hair to grow, or perhaps our bank account, but this is a condition where parts of the body grow excessively, leading to significant physical changes and deformities. This is horrifying. First identified in the 1980s, Proteus syndrome affects fewer than 1 in 1 million people. The condition is named after the Greek sea god Proteus, who could change shape reflecting the diverse and changing nature of the symptoms. Individuals with Proteus syndrome often have overgrowth of bones, skin, and other tissues, leading to a distinctive and often asymmetrical appearance. Recent research into Proteus syndrome has made notable advances. Scientists have discovered that the disorder is caused by a mutation in the AKT1 gene, which plays a role in cell growth and division. This mutation leads to uncontrolled growth of various tissues and organs. Understanding this genetic basis has opened up new avenues for research and potential treatments. Progress in managing Proteus syndrome includes targeted therapies aimed at controlling abnormal cell growth. Treatments often focus on addressing specific symptoms and may involve surgery to correct deformities or manage complications. Medical experts are exploring more precise genetic therapies and ways to improve quality of life for those affected. Jumping Men The Jumping Men of Maine is a fascinating and unusual phenomenon where individuals experience spontaneous, uncontrollable jumping episodes. Picture people suddenly leaping into the air or convulsing without warning. This is the essence of the jumping men of Maine. First reported in the 1930s, this mysterious condition predominantly affected residents of the town in Lisbon, Maine. The exact number of cases is unclear, but it was notable enough to catch the attention of medical and media sources at the time. The phenomenon involved intense, sudden jumps that appeared to be linked to emotional stress or excitement. Recent research into the jumping men of Maine remains limited, as the condition is not well documented and largely faded from medical literature. Some researchers speculate that it might have been a form of mass hysteria or a psychosomatic reaction, where stress and anxiety manifest physical symptoms. Others suggest it could have been related to neurological or psychological disorders. There has been no significant recent progress in understanding or treating the jumping men of Maine, partly due to the rarity and historical nature of the reports. This condition shows that even today, some events still don't have clear explanations, leaving us wondering truly about the limits of medical science. Fish odor. Trimethylaminuria, commonly known as fish odor syndrome, is a rare metabolic disorder where the body can't break down trimethylamine, a compound with a strong fishy smell. Imagine living with an odor that makes you smell like fish no matter how much you clean. It's a reality for those with this condition. First identified in the 1970s, Trimethylaminuria affects fewer than 1 in 1 million people worldwide. The condition is caused by a genetic mutation that impairs the liver's ability to process trimethylamine, leading to its buildup and subsequent release through sweat, breath, and urine. Recent research has made some headway in managing trimethylaminuria. Dietary changes such as reducing intakes of foods and high in trimethylamine, like fish, eggs, and certain vegetables, can help control the symptoms. Additionally, Certain medications and probiotics have shown promise in reducing the fishy odor. The exact reason why this genetic mutation occurs is still under study, but it's known to involve the malfunctioning of an enzyme called FMO3, which is crucial for metabolizing trimethylamine. Though a smelly condition, it's so unique that people in the medical profession can't help but be mystified. I'm sure you are mystified too. Pika Pika is a fascinating condition where individuals crave and consume non-food items, such as dirt, paper, or hair. Can you fathom having an intense urge to eat something that isn't even edible? First noted in ancient medical texts, pika affects people of all ages, 
but it's most commonly observed in children and pregnant women. Statistics suggest that about 1 in 5 children may show signs of pica at some point, and it's also seen in individuals with certain developmental or psychiatric disorders. Recent research into pica has focused on understanding its underlying causes. It's thought to be linked to nutritional deficiencies such as iron or zinc, and sometimes psychological conditions like stress or obsessive compulsive disorder. Studies are ongoing to better understand these connections and develop effective treatments. Addressing PICA often involves a combination of dietary changes to correct deficiencies and behavioral therapies to manage the urge. Morgellons disease. Morgellons disease is a perplexing condition where individuals report unusual symptoms, including fibers or particles emerging from the skin, itching, and sores. Imagine having a feeling where your skin seems to be producing strange fibers, which can be both alarming and confusing. First described in the early 2000s, Morgellons is extremely rare with estimates suggesting that it affects fewer than 1 in 100,000 people. The condition remains controversial, with some researchers believing it may be linked to skin infections or psychological factors, while others argue it might be a distinct disease. Recent research into Morgellons has made some progress. Studies have looked into potential causes, including bacterial infections, and have examined the role of psychological factors. One significant finding is that many patients with Morgellons also have Lyme disease, leading some to investigate possible connections between the two. Despite ongoing research, the exact cause of Morgellons remains unclear. Current approaches to managing the condition often include treating associated symptoms and addressing any underlying health issues. As research continues, scientists hope to better understand Morgellons and improve treatment options for those affected. Which of these strange medical phenomena did you find the most baffling? Drop your thoughts in the comment box below. If you want to see more interesting videos like this one, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on all our latest content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.